Hello. Hello. Greetings and welcome fellow members of the Coma Survivors Support Group. <laughs> I'd like to share my experience with you in the hopes that it may help some of you who are saying to yourself, now that you're conscious again, what the fuck was that? <laughs> okay, my story goes like this. I was in a coma for a little over a year and I just recently came out of it. That's it. I don't remember anything else. So, uh, I think what I'll do is I'll tell you what I've been doing since I woke up. Or, as everyone's saying nowadays, since I got woke. <clears throat> well, my memory skills are still pretty messed up, so I decided to get back into acting. It's something I did when I was a young man, but being out of the game for so long, I was worried that I'd have a hard time getting an agent. But believe it or not, I got one on my first interview. <laughs> they heard I'd been in a coma for a year, and that's all they needed to hear. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's really crazy, but, well, it gets better. The first audition they sent me on, I booked it. <laughs> I know, I can't believe it either. And get this. I'm going to be in the next new movie by, wait for it, Woody Allen! Oh, God. Oh, my God. It's a dream come true. And believe me, after a year in a coma, I know something about dreaming. <clears throat> okay. Um, so I met Mr. Allen in his office, and he was really nice. He asked me to take a seat, and for some reason, the chairs were very small, like in a nursery school. So um, anyway, I squeezed, squeezed my tiny white ass into the tiny armchair, and uh, he asked me some questions. First, he wanted to know if I'd ever seen his movie Manhattan. <laughs> uh, then he asked me what I thought about the schoolgirl that his character was in love with. Uh, you know, I wasn't sure what to say, so I said she was very young and pretty. Well, I must have said the right thing because I got the part. So then, he drops the biggest news of all. I'm going to be co-starring with none other than the great Louis C.K. God, that man is so funny and so sensitive. I, it, it's me. I mean, really, it seems like, like, like he really respects people, especially women. Yeah. It's like to him, women are goddesses, and he'd be happy to just stand there and admire them. <laughs> huh, what do I know? I've been in a coma for a year. Uh, he plays a... Oh, hey, wait a minute. That's not all. The rest of the cast is amazing, too. Casey Affleck. He plays a sleepwalker who winds up in other people's bedrooms not knowing how he got there. <laughs> yeah, but wait, wait, wait. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, and Jeffrey Tambor from Transparent plays his mother. <laughs> that guy really knows how to play women, right? <laughs> oh, boy. And then there's a scene at the circus, and guess who's in it? Grandma the Clown from the Big Apple Circus. Well, it figures there'd be a clown since Woody likes children so much. <laughs> uh, and the food is going to be fantastic. Craft service is being catered by Mario Batali. And I met the producer, Harvey Weinstein. He seemed kind of bummed out. Uh, and um, I'm not really sure why he was wearing a bathrobe. Whatever. But just before the meeting was over, in walks my favorite actor of all time, Kevin Spacey. He's playing the lead. I can't stand it. I, I was so stunned I blurted out, somebody pinched me. And believe it or not, Kevin did! <laughs> Not a mean pinch, like the character in House of Cards. It was just a nice, friendly pinch on my butt. <laughs> and that's when I knew for sure I was now a member of the club. So, in closing, I, I just want to say that, you know, my family has been pretty concerned about my adjustments since I missed a year of my life. So, 
I just can't wait to see the look on their faces when I get home and share the good news with my lovely wife and my three teenage daughters. <laughs> They're going to flip out. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. So thank you, my fellow coma compadres, and may you all have an amazing time adjusting to this new world that you just woke up to. <laughs> yeah.